In 2025, the approach to SEO has drastically changed. What worked even months ago is no longer relevant right now. Even though Google's new updates have changed how SEO works, it's actually opened up some new opportunities if you know what to do. In this video, I'll show you some of the proven strategies that'll help your site rank in the new AI overview section that you see here. So let's dive in. I'm Brian from Website Learners and let's get started. This is how the old Google search results used to look like. And this is how it looks right now. So what exactly changed? Previously, when you search for something, Google used to show the top ranking blog or website link for that particular topic. But now you get the information that you're looking for in this particular AI overview section, even before seeing the links. Now you must be wondering, what is this AI overview? AI overview is a short summary with some helpful blog links that Google shows at the top of the search results before showing the usual website links. For example, let's search for morning diet plan. Now Google will use AI to analyze all the blogs available for this topic and it will give us a direct answer in a form of a summary. It even shows the links of the blogs from where it found the information. If you want to check out the main source for this information, just click on this icon and you will get the blog link. Now this blog may not be ranked at the first position in the traditional search results, but because of the AI overview, we can see it at the top. And that's the power of the AI overview. So how do we get our content in the AI overview? To appear in the AI overview, your blog needs to at least rank on the first page of the search results, which means traditional SEO is still very important. But it's not enough on its own. The advantage is that AI overview can push your blog to the top spot even if it initially ranks as low as the seventh position on the first page. To increase your chances, your content should directly answer people's questions clearly in a way that's easy to understand. In this video, I'll show you exactly how to get your site featured in these AI overviews. We'll start by finding the right keywords, then we'll create a blog post that gives accurate and direct answers. Finally, I'll show you how to publish the blog and get a high SEO score. To create a content that gets featured in the AI overview, we are going to do four steps. The first step is to find keywords based on your topic. There are plenty of paid SEO tools for keyword research, but in this video, I will show you free and easy methods to find the keywords. Before we do that, just click the link in the description and install this Chrome extension. It'll help us to copy the keywords from Google search suggestions. Once you've installed the extension, let's look at the first and the most basic method to find keywords. Let's say we want to create a blog about how to do low carb diet. So open Google and search for low carb diet. As you can see, we get a list of popular keyword suggestions. These keywords are relevant to our topic and are frequently searched by people. Now let's select the most relevant keyword for our blog. And to do that, just click on this icon and the keyword will be added to this bucket. Once we add all the keywords, we can copy them together. All right, that's the most basic method to find keywords. Now let me show you another method called the asterisk method. All you need to do is just add an asterisk at the end. And as you can see, we get even more keyword suggestions. Go ahead and add the ones you like in the bucket. You can even try adding an asterisk at the beginning like this and get even more keyword suggestions. There's one more cool trick that you can use. Just add phrases like best, top, good, how, why, when at the beginning of your keyword. And once you're done, we can save all the copied keywords in the spreadsheet. So to do that, just go to this button, click copy to clipboard, then open a new tab and open a blank spreadsheet by typing sheets.new and paste them here. And now we have successfully found some potential keywords based on our topic. But how do we know if they'll perform well? To figure that out, let's go to the second step, which is to find the keywords which are easy to rank for. We will do this by finding the keyword difficulty. Now this will help us to understand how hard it will be to rank on Google using that particular keyword. So to find the keyword difficulty, just click the link in the description and it'll take you to this tool. Here we need to enter the keyword. So let's go back to the spreadsheet, copy a keyword and paste it here. Select the country which you want to target and click check keyword. Now it has analyzed the top ranking pages for the keyword and it gave us a difficulty score between zero and hundred. Now zero being the easiest to rank for and hundred being the hardest. So let's note it in our spreadsheet. 
In the same way, let's check the scores for all the keywords one by one and note them down in the spreadsheet. Once you're done, you'll have a list of keywords and their difficulty scores. Now we have to analyze them and choose the ones with the lower difficulty for our blog. I'm going to select this keyword, high protein, low carb diet, which has a difficulty score of 52. Great. Now we've selected the keyword, which will be easy to rank for. Using this particular keyword, we can create an amazing blog that can rank high on Google. So let's go to the third step, which is to create the blog post. Now to create the blog post, we're going to use an AI content generation tool, which is made by us specifically for creating blogs. To get this tool, just click the link in the description and it'll take you to this page. To create the blog post, first we need to create an outline for our blog. So to do that, let's enter the keyword we chose earlier. Just go back to the spreadsheet, copy the keyword, come back and paste it here. Next, we need to select the source for our content. To do that, just click here and select this option. Now this will give us the outline for the top three blogs that appear organically on Google. We are going to use the outline of one of these blogs as they are already ranked high and it will improve our chances of ranking high too. Now select the location that you want to target. Selecting the right location is very important because we will get the top three blogs that are performing well in that specific location. This will make our content more relevant and it will help us reconnect better with our readers. Now click create outline and you will get the outlines of the top three blogs of our topic. Check them out. Select the one you like. I'm going to go with this one. And we also have some more settings here. From here, you can also adjust the length of the blog by setting a word limit. You can even set it to use the reference content for the entire blog by simply enabling this option here. We can use some more keywords related to our topic. This will increase our chances of ranking on the first page. So to add more keywords, just click here and the AI will generate them for you. So if you want to add tables and lists while generating your blog, simply check these two boxes. All right, now we've created an outline with a keyword that has good potential. But to boost our chances of appearing in the AI summary, we need to make the blog optimized for AI overview. To make our blog AI optimized, there are five things that we need to do correctly. First, start by answering the main question right away. This boosts the possibility that Google will use your content in its summary. Second, use clear question-based headings. For example, what are the benefits of exercise? This is the kind of question that people might directly search for on Google. So if it's used in your blog, that part of the blog will appear in the AI overview. Third, provide detailed information to show you're knowledgeable about that particular topic. Fourth, keep it simple, avoid using jargons and complex words. Write in a way that's easy for everyone to understand. Fifth, regularly update your blog and include the best and latest information. By following these five tips, we can make it easier for Google's AI to find and feature our content in its summaries. Now, let me show you something interesting. If we search for a keyword like high protein, low carb diet, we get the usual search results. As you can see, there's no AI overview or summary for this particular keyword. Now, if we search the same keyword, but this time add a question word like what, why, when, or how, an AI-generated overview appears before the organic results. These words are called as informational queries. So it's obvious that people are more likely to click on blog posts listed in this AI overview since they appear before the standard search results. And here's the crazy part. These blogs aren't even ranked on the first page when you search for the keyword without the informational query. So to sum it up, the AI overview is triggered by informational queries. This means we should focus on creating content that directly answers common questions that people have about our blog or topic. So next, we're going to find these common questions and use them as a heading in our blog. To do that, just click the link in the description and it'll take you to this page. Enter your topic or keyword, select the country and click search. It'll ask you to sign in. So let's quickly sign in with our Google account. Once you're in, you will see a list of most asked questions related to your topic. If you click on a question, you can even view the AI overview result for that query. Now that we know this question can trigger the AI overview for our keyword, let's use it for our blog. So to add a heading, go back to this tab, click on this option, enter the question you copied. Now to rearrange the headings, just drag them like this. Now as the heading is a question, 
its content should be in the form of a quick and a clear answer. So to keep the content short, click here, go to add notes and add a note for AI saying that the content for this section should be concise in simple terms without any lists or tables. You can find the note in the description, so just copy it and paste it here. Once you're done, click on the settings icon, open the drop down by clicking here and select the last option. Now this will ensure that the content for this heading stays short and to the point. Now quickly check the outline and if you want to remove any section, click on the delete icon and it's removed. You can do the same for the subheadings too. Alright, now our outline looks perfect with all the settings adjusted. Next, let's generate the content. To do that, click continue, then click generate all and that's it. We've got a complete blog post along with the images just like we wanted. Amazing right? So now we have successfully created a blog which is optimized for AI overview and it's all set to be published. So let's go to the last step which is to publish our blog on your WordPress website. To publish the blog, click preview and export. And here you'll see two options. You can either download it as a PDF or publish it directly to WordPress. If you want to keep a copy of this blog on your computer, you can download it by clicking here. Before we publish the blog, we need to first connect GravityWrite to our WordPress account. By connecting GravityWrite to your WordPress account, we can save time by publishing our blog directly to our website with just one click directly from GravityWrite. So to connect your account, go to your profile, right click on WordPress and open it in a new tab. Click here, then click add WordPress, enter your WordPress website URL and click continue. This will take you to the WordPress dashboard. Just click here, check your site details and click submit. As you can see, the status is active, which means we have successfully granted our WordPress website to Gravity Right. Let's go ahead and publish our blog. To do that, first let's go back to the previous tab and click Preview and Export. Then click here, select WordPress and click Export to WordPress. After that, just click here. You'll have the option to either publish the blog immediately, create a draft or schedule it later. I want to publish it right away, so I'll select that option and click import to WordPress. And that's it. Our blog is now live on the website. So to check it out, just click on the link and there it is. Congratulations, your blog is now live on your WordPress website. And as you can see, it looks amazing. But how well is it performing in terms of SEO? To find that out, let's check its SEO score. But before we do that, make sure you have installed WordPress plus SEO plugins like Rank Math and Yoast SEO. I'm going to use Rank Math. Now to check the SEO score, just go to Edit Post and click here. And here you need to enter the focus keyword for your blog. So let's enter the keywords we got from Gravity Right. And as you can see, we got a score of 70 out of 100 by simply using the content we got from Gravity Right without making any changes to it. If you look at the sidebar, it shows that we've done well like using the focus keywords correctly which help boost the SEO score. But it also points out areas where we can improve. For example, look at this one. It says that title could be better. So to improve it, let's add a meta title and a description. To do that, just click the link in the description and it'll take you to this tool. Here enter the keyword and click create content. As you can see, we've got a list of meta titles and descriptions to choose from. Just pick the one you like. I'll go with this one. Copy it. Go back to the previous tab and replace the current title with it. Next, we need to edit the meta description. To do that, click here. Then go back to Gravity Ride. Copy the description you prefer. Go back to the previous tab and paste it here. Once you're done, click on this icon and as you can see, most of the errors are now fixed. There's just one left which says we don't have any number in the title but we can ignore that. 
now our SEO score has increased from 70 to 72. Amazing, right? So let's save it. Just click here and it's done. All right, so now we have successfully published our blog and improved its SEO score, but it still might not be visible to Google to use it in the AI overview. So to make sure that Google knows that we have published a new blog, we need to index our site. Indexing is like a library catalog of all the websites on the internet. Just like how a catalog helps you find books in a library, indexing helps Google to list and organize your content so that people can find it easily. To index your site, open a new tab and search for Google Search Console. Now click on the first link and it will take you to this page. Let's click start now. If you need help signing into Google Search Console, you can watch this video. Alright, once we are in, here we need to enter the link to our blog. So let's go back to our blog, copy the link, come back, paste it here and click request indexing. As you can see, our blog is now submitted to Google for indexing. Once our blog is indexed, Google will know that we have published a new blog and it can use our content in the AI overview. Now, keep in mind that AI overviews for a particular topic can change over time. Let's say your site appears in the AI overview today, it might not be there the next week. This is because Google wants to give users the latest and the most accurate information. So once your site is published and indexed, it is important to keep it updated. And after you make the updates, make sure to index your site on the Google Search Console again. This lets Google know that your content is fresh and it will increase its chances to show up again in the search results and the AI overviews. Alright, so this is how you can do SEO in 2025. So go ahead and try this method to get your content featured in Google's AI overview and boost your traffic to your site. Now that you've mastered the latest SEO techniques, it is the perfect time to boost your online presence and having a fast website is really important for SEO. With WebSpace Kit, you can easily build a fast and a professional website without any coding skills. Their wide selection of free themes and plugins makes it easy to create a site that stands out. And the best part, you get a free domain and a 10% off when you use the link in the description. So start building your brand with WebSpace Kit today. So that's it guys, thanks for watching and if you are interested in learning about keyword research and retail, you can watch this video. And if you want to create content that bypasses AI detection, then you can check out this video. If you guys like this video, do give it a thumbs up and remember to hit the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.